Africa's artistic community is in mourning today. We're going to start the bulletin with this. The legendary jazz musician and political activist Jonas Gwangwa laid to rest today after a special provincial funeral here in Johannesburg. Gwangwa died last week. He was aged 83, just two weeks after the death of his wife. Our reporter Kai Lithu Kumala was at the funeral today and uh, joins us. Kai, good afternoon to many people, not unexpectedly, paying tribute uh, to Jonas Gwangwa this morning. They remembered him as a friend and a colleague. Well, by all accounts, uh, Jeremy, and quite a very illustrious career. You know, he was one of those very important voices within the jazz fraternity, a composer, but also a cultural activist. So, outpouring of condolences, and the Minister of Arts and Culture and Sports, Natim Teto, delivered a eulogy where he really said he came from a very fine crop of artists who understood how to use the craft to communicate a very tough situation faced at the time, but also his contemporaries also came, the likes of Kafir Semenya, also just reminiscing about the precious days and also the hardship that they enjoyed as exiles in the U.S. And this is somebody also who collaborated the with the likes of the late Mary Makeba and Harry Belafonte, and he was actually an arranger in the 60s. Uh, but, uh, I mean, this is what uh, one of the friends had to say, Jeremy. was my dear friend and a colleague in music. If I were to say that, it would be a gross understatement. Because to me, Jonas Gwango was much more than just a friend and colleague. He was family. He was a brother and a comrade in arms. We were bound together, not only by our love for music, but also by a common goal of using our musical talents as a weapon to free our people from the shackles of colonialism and apartheid oppression. All five of us, Sister Miriam Makeba, Hilma Sigela, Jonas Gonga, Leda, and myself, collectively made a conscious decision to become the cultural wing of our people's liberation movements that were waging the liberation struggle for freedom, justice and self-determination. That tribute from the musician Kaifa Semenya, the reporting from Kailithli Kumalo.